On to business news now on France 24 and uh, France 24's Cole Stangler is here. He's going to start with Boeing today, recommending airlines suspend uh, the use of certain uh, of its jets. That's after this accident of the weekend, isn't it? That's right, Stuart. In particular, planes that are using the engine known as the Pratt & Whitney 4000. Now, that's the engine that failed mid-flight over the weekend in the U.S., shedding debris around the city of Denver. American regulators have also announced extra inspections on certain jets using that engine. Other counterparts in Japan have suspended their use entirely. In the meantime, U.S.-based United Airlines has announced it's taking 24 of the jets out of service. Uh, meanwhile, uh, next up, China's foreign minister has a message for the U.S. That's right, Stuart. Wang Yi hoping to turn the page on the turbulent trade relations of the Trump era. He took the floor at a forum in Beijing calling on the U.S. to remove its sanctions on China's tech sector. While the new Treasury Secretary in Washington has said tariffs will remain on place on hundreds of billions of dollars worth of Chinese goods, Beijing hopes for a change in that policy, too. And meanwhile, uh, policymakers in Texas, they're vowing to uh, protect consumers from excessive utility bills. And this comes, of course, after the state's deadly storm and historic blackouts. Some residents have been hit with bills for thousands of dollars for just a few days' worth of electricity. But the governor says the state is ordering power companies to halt the practice. He also says consumers won't be disconnected from the network, a short-term fix, while state politicians work to come up with a more long-term solution. Let me just uh, repeat what I said to make sure everyone knows, and that is uh, the, the Public Utilities Commission is issuing a moratorium on customer disconnections for non-payment, and they are also going to restrict electric providers from sending customers the skyrocketing invoices at this time. The, the legislature understands the importance of this issue and will work at great speed to fully address it. Next up, uh, dividends. They've dropped worldwide. This is as a result of uh, the coronavirus crisis. Payouts to investors fell some 12% in 2020 when compared to the previous year. That's according to asset manager Janice Henderson. The drop was steepest in the UK and in Europe, where the European Central Bank asked banks to avoid paying out dividends. But the shareholder payouts rose just slightly in North America. Dividends worldwide, though, still totaled some $1.2 trillion, though there may be a fall. Investors still clearly reaping rewards from the rebound in the stock market. Let's take a look now at how those markets are faring here to kick off the week here, starting with the European numbers. European indexes in the red to start here on Monday. The FTSE down around six-tenths of a percent. See those figures coming up for you now. The CAC 40 here in Paris down around seven-tenths of a percent. Asian markets also in mostly negative territory. Investors taking in the decision from China's central bank to hold interest rates steady. The Nikkei, the only one there with gains. Meanwhile, the cryptocurrency Bitcoin uh, actually now in positive territory over the last 24 hours. That's after Tesla CEO and noted Bitcoin enthusiast Elon Musk said its value, quote, seemed high still, though, uh, with some gains and continuing to trade around a historic high uh, over $56,000 per coin. Now, the cryptocurrency has seen some staggering gains over the last month driven by a wave of mainstream endorsements, but it still has plenty of critics and doubters. Yinka Oyatade reports. It's another milestone to add to its collection. Bitcoin has hit a record high of over $55,000 per coin. This is the cryptocurrency continues to see an historic climb. Its market value has topped $1 trillion. In the past six months alone, its price has soared by approximately 350%. Bitcoin has seen a tumultuous rise in the past few years. Its prices peaked at the end of 2017, but it saw its value plummet by 80% in 2018. But the cryptocurrency hit a turning point when it started gaining interest from several major companies, pushing it into the mainstream. PayPal and Mastercard have both endorsed Bitcoin, while electric car maker Tesla's announcement earlier this month that it bought $1.5 billion worth of the currency drove Bitcoin's market value to an all-time high. It also said it would accept payments in Bitcoin in exchange for its products. Even the electric car maker's owner was shocked by the currency's latest milestone, tweeting that it seemed a little high. Critics say Bitcoin still has little practical use for ordinary consumers, while the extreme fluctuations in its value make it a risky investment. 
While the currency's proponents maintain it will revolutionise the way people spend and invest, many analysts say that's not coming anytime soon. And that's the business news on France 24. We're going to